feel severely underdressed for this video because, well, t t yeah. Mm. That's my porn music, clearly. Because, yeah. Reasons. So, 30 minutes later. No, I'm, jo I'm joking. Oh, it is tomorrow. Holy shit. Well, technically, it's two days, but. I see it's the early hours on Thursday, so I'm a little bit excited if you can't tell, hence this t-shirt and the slightly excitedness of the penguin arms, I don't know what's going on there. Oh, clearly, this video has to be Star Wars inspired. Um, so I kind of decided, sod it, I'm going to do my, well not my expectations, but what I'm kind of hoping to see from Force Awakens, because, you know, every fanboy's got to have a level that's got to reach, clearly. So that always works out for Phantom Menace. <clears throat> I want to see from Force Awakens is, is sort of original, original story because I kind of want to do the whole oh he turns evil and then he turns evil and then he's good and then he's his father. I don't want that again and I don't think they're stupid enough to do it because he would complain if they did the same story again just with a, a, a new cast. I want to see his Skywalker sort of story continued because I think that that's what they've said and that's what Star Wars unfortunately, well I say unfortunately, what Star Wars is about to some extent it is about this family going through all this trouble. And you know, if you have your last name's Skywalker, you're gonna have an easy ride in life, probably, because you're gonna have a nut job for a dad. So is that, Um, next one is strong characters across the board. Now, I know the original trilogy took a while to get us across, and I think there are some weak characters in the original trilogy, I will say that. But, I think we're in a day and age now where we all expect really strong characters to be within every, well, not in every film, but within most films. And I think Mad Max, to point a film, show that really goddamn well. One thing I want to see, I don't want to see complete nostalgia. As much as I am a nostalgic person and I love Star Wars pieces since my childhood, I'm not paying 30 odd quid to go and see Star Wars in 3D, which I've got on Blu-ray. So I want to see some new elements, but I also want to see some of the originals. But I still want to keep the feel of Star Wars, that was my problem for prequels, it felt too new. You know, it was set in the past and that was that confused people, somehow. But don't confuse me because it's new technology but here. Yeah. And I think when they've proven practical effects are the way to go and they are doing that really well. Um, one thing I want to see is a story pushed forward. I don't want to see a stunted story where they constantly try and throw us back to Empire or Star or Hunt New Hope or Return to like I want the con I want the story to push forward. To be a passive torch story because that's a bit cheesy but just to try and keep some of your characters in by all means but just to push them with us new ones because Star Wars, one of the thrills of Star Wars originally anyway was the fact that these were all new people, all new actors, all new cast, really new, quite unknown so I think if anything's going to launch their careers it's going to be bloody Star Wars. Do something for you in Liam Neeson because Taken, quite gone Jin, been Taken, oh that'd be amazing. Um, and most importantly I want it to be a good experience. I think because the prequels burned so many people, and to be fair, I don't mind the prequels. I can watch them, but the storyteller now does grind me a bit. And the writing, I think, is another thing that I think they should have fixed. By the language, especially the words they use, that's what language is, Andy. Well done. Either I know the original ones didn't have the best language in the world, but I think now that people know no words better. But talk people casually, not talking like Queens of Royalty, because that really put people off the, the prequels. And the originals to some extent. Final thing, no Jar Jar please. So is Jar Jar, you're just a big monstrosity that no one wants to see ever again. I'm harsh, what am I saying? It's true. Even I hit the Lego version of them, he's just some weird little pale thing. That's probably in Reblock and Tumblr, pale blocks. No, probably not. They're saying different things of Reblock and Tumblr. Very different things. That, that was a penis joke. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'm off to go and rewatch. Um, no, probably go, I'm gonna go play Empire at War because that's my favourite Star Wars games. So, question for you guys: What are you looking forward to in Star Wars: Force Awakens? Are you seeing it within the first week? Of course, you are. Everyone is. It's, have you seen it already? Where you want to look? You want to go to premiere? In that case, I hate you. And also, what is your favourite Star Wars game? Because you know we're all a bit nerds here, and uh, everyone's played a Star Wars game, even if it's Lego Star Wars, because I'm quite happy to play them. So I'll see you guys. Tomorrow, possibly. If not, Thursday. I will see you at some point. See ya.